So now we know how fluid is distributed between these three different areas. What about electrolytes? So first let's consider this extracellular part. So we said that what separates the intravascular and the interstitial compartments is a capillary wall. And capillary walls are fairly leaky. And so they let through fluid and they also let through electrolytes. So the electrolytes are going to be the same in the intravascular and interstitial areas because they pass freely from one to the other and so they'll diffuse until they're evenly distributed. And you already know what the most important electrolyte is in the extracellular compartment, it's sodium. You have about 140 milli equivalents per liter of sodium inside cells, which is a lot more than the next positive electrolyte, which is potassium, for which there's only about four milli equivalents per liter, so really a lot more sodium. But the thing is that for every positive charge, you need a negative charge, and so we're gonna have an even number of negative electrolytes in this area. So the one there's most of is chloride, which is about 106 milli equivalents per liter, so that has one negative charge. And the second most is going to be HCO3 minus, for which there's about 25 milli equivalents per liter, and this has a name, we call it bicarbonate or sometimes bicarb for short. And by the way, you don't need to know all of these exact numbers right now, but know the relative amounts.